Now in its 22nd year, the Schoenberg Bublil musical Les Miserables celebrates its 9,000th performance in the West End tonight at the Queen's Theatre on Shaftesbury Avenue. We caught up with the audience and some of the cast to celebrate this very special birthday. I thought it was absolutely superb and it was such a privilege to be there tonight. It was quite possibly the best show I've ever seen. I guess the story is just one of, of grace and hope and, and that's a story everyone can sort of take something from. It is like ten years of French history rolled into a ball and bounced on the stage. It's fantastic. I just can't say how brilliant a show it is and I'd, I'd probably back again, be back again, again and again. <laughs> I saw it in the US once, I saw it in London once. Um, I'm just delighted to see it again. We come from Barcelona and it's the fourth time we come here to see the Miserables. I've seen it twice before, yes, it's my third time. Four times? About, About ten times. I can't at all imagine or realise what 9,000 means. I've done Valjean for three years and now this is my second season at Chabert and I still feel the buzz every night so uh, for me it's, but it's the music, if the, the music is for me the, the, uh, the click. We started to work on the project, it will be 30 years next year because we started to work on the subject for the original French production in 78. According to the review we were quite devastated and we thought it was going to be a, a nice two months uh, run uh, by the Royal Shakespeare like an uh, interesting experience. I played the, uh, the dark character, I played the, uh, the policeman who's, uh, who's always um, trying to catch Faljan, so I'm, I'm the bad man. She's a feisty girl and she's, you know, she adores Marius who, you know, I think is fond of her but doesn't adore her in quite the way that she adores him. Jean Valjean is, uh, is, is basically an honest man who's been done wrong in his life. And the whole story of Le Miserable is about his struggle for redemption. A lot of the characters are fighters, and it's about survival, and it's about fighting a war, and not necessarily, they don't necessarily all win the war. I just thought it was brilliant the way they brought home the reality of war, actually. I thought, it, given today's climate, it was absolutely amazing, it made it all very real. You can put this story of, of revolution uh, in, any, in any century, really. It's got the pathos, it's got the love, it's got the tragedy. We just can't stop seeing it. I don't normally cry. I blub like a baby tonight. Fantastic. It is am an amazing experience. Great art will survive. And I think the show is a great piece of art. Best musical you can possibly see. You won't forget it. <laughs> Happy birthday, ladies! Yeah! To book your tickets, follow the links on the website right now.